Mike Budenholzer agreeing to a four-year contract to become the Bucks head coach. Jet, you spent the last two seasons in that locker room, so everyone thinks like, oh, they got Giannis, but right. that job has challenges. What is his biggest challenge? Well, his biggest challenge will be uh, with his roster, his personnel. Mm -hmm. Like, who's going to be here? Because they have big decisions to make. Obviously, the cap, they're, they're strapped. Mm -hmm. So they can't bring any no, more new players in, but they have leverage and, and room to maneuver Just and Just come out and, and say, they got to decide where they're trading right. Jabari. I thought you were going to say bring me back. <laughs> that was the number one thing. But, no, I mean, they, they got some decisions to make. Jabari's a starter in this league, mm -hmm. and he can average 20 and 8 on any given team in this league. So that's a big decision there. Uh, he's, he's free this year, and so we'll, we'll see how it works. Yeah, but. I, I, I mean, I, I like this, this gig for uh, Bud. You yeah. know, I look what he did in Atlanta, mm -hmm. you know, winning 60-something games and taking that team to the Eastern Conference Finals. I mean, you were Finals. working in San Antonio, right? Yeah, and he worked me out before every game. Mm -hmm. Great basketball mind, and he didn't have a talent like Giannis on this squad in Atlanta, so I'm just curious to see, you know, the personnel, like you say, who they're going to bring in and who they're going to trade away uh, to go with him because he's going to need other players around him uh, to, to bring out the best in him. Yeah. Well, I mean, what you bring out, too, is so interesting to me because I love this hire because of the Giannis development mm -hmm. factor, right? Bud is, I mean, all those years he spent with the Spurs, he understands how to get the most potential out of a guy. J Kid, he certainly did a lot for Giannis oh, yeah. while they were together, but there was a feeling of like, okay, he has done the J Kid stuff he can do, and now someone else needs to move Giannis to the next phase. What, what do you think still needs to be, what can a good coach like Bud refine in Giannis's game? Well, he's going to have to still learn how to play the game and facilitate for others. He's doing it now at a high level, but he can do a lot more. And then, obviously, his, his, his jump shot. Yeah. You know, expand his range out and be confident and comfortable with, hey, they're backing up. I'm just going to take this shot. Mm -hmm. But he did a phenomenal job this year. He, he, he's a great kid, student of the game, and he's a sponge. He'll soak everything up, and he, he'll play well. He'll, he's a really for hard me, worker, right? No, hard. Yeah, yeah hard. For, for me, watching Giannis from afar, mm -hmm. it, to me, I, I think uh, everything that you said, but I think – he needs to be a little bit more selfish, mm -hmm. you know, being the guy for his team. And he was making some comments about, you know, those wasn't his shots. Oh, right, well, in the playoffs. Right, in the playoffs yeah. saying that those wasn't his shots. And I felt like, you know, you being the best player, like you should be able to get any shot or take any shot at any given moment, given right. your talent. And I just think he needs to be a little bit more selfish. Yeah, be a little more selfish. But again, it's confidence. Yeah. Right? He just didn't have right. The confidence on that stage to just go over and just mm -hmm. take over, mm -hmm. take 10 shots in a row, make or miss. Yeah. You know, that was just not in his DNA yet. Is there anything little about Bud's personality? I mean, you th that you think, you know, he can kind of add there? Is it the way he teaches? Is there anything? No, I just think just constantly just drilling that in his head okay. uh, of what he is capable of doing. Um, hearing that from his coach and actually going out and showing him, mm -hmm. watching film with him. Uh, Bud is the best at that. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, and of course, as much jet as you can get, that's the recipe for a great successful career in the NBA.